post game with head women's soccer coach Andy McNabb. 2 1 win over Furman. First win over Furman since 1995. Coach, what are your initial thoughts on the game? Yeah, I mean, listen, it was a really difficult test. I think by that stat, uh, 1995 shows what a formidable opponent Furman are, and they played really well today. And, you know, I think we just have this belief within our team right now that, you know, we can go toe to toe with anybody. and. Um, we're playing good opponents like Furman for the reason of moving on to conference and being ready for that. Um, but, you know, we dug really deep. We're really together as a team, I think, after the first 15 minutes uh, where Furman had a lot of the play. But, listen, we've scored really two really different goals, but two really good goals. Um, brilliant team effort for the first one. Really nice one-touch passing. Great finish from Barrett. Um, and then the second goal, we've been saying a goal is coming from corner kicks, and it's a great ball in, and it's a bullet header from, from Shea and... The, the team's deserved a, a big result like this. You talked about the belief within the team. Where does that stem from, and, and what have you been trying to instill in this group to, to have that belief? Listen, I think we've just got said one step at a time, and this season we're going one game at a time, and a lot, most of this is all down to the players. We, we put, brought people in, uh, put them in different positions, but really it's been the players that have got this, you know, this is going to be our game, this is going to be our year, and. They've instilled the confidence by themselves at this point and great credit to them for really buying into what we're trying to do and really believing that they're going to go into every game getting a result. Any additional thoughts on what's to come game-wise this week? Yeah, two more difficult games and you know we've got the Citadel on Thursday, another SoCon opponent and then Mercer, um, formidable um, SoCon opponent as well. But we'll, we'll go into these games with the same expectations to battle, fight and produce chances, be stingy at the back and hopefully hopefully here at Greenwood having another couple of wins. Awesome. Thanks coach. Thanks. Here with Barrett Edson post game after a 2-1 win over Furman. You notched that first goal. Give me your initial thoughts on today's game. Yeah this is just a, such a huge win for us and I'm so proud of this team. Everyone gave it 100 percent and just committed everything they have into this game. Um, can you kind of walk me through through your goal? What did you see in front of you and how were you guys able to connect there? So we started from building out of the back, basically moved the ball all the way down the field, just moving off each other and keeping the ball on the ground, which turned into a ball to the forward, which led a run from me into the box, ball over the top, just brought it down with my chest, finished first time. Awesome. Um, and what, what makes you excited about this team this year? I think we're all so close this year and just trusting in each other so much that like, there's nothing we can't do if we just believe we can do it. Any additional thoughts you want to give on this week's matchups or the game itself today? Um, I think like obviously we're now we're 4-1 and one on the season and just going into next game just building off this momentum that we've built here today. Awesome. Thanks, Barry.